Hey folks, so today's video is about the Enhancement Profit Calculator version 2.2. Uh, basically, I've fixed a major bug that I didn't even know was a bug until uh, Zent on my Discord basically mentioned that it wasn't working for them on something else they were working on. Uh, and then I realized it's not working on this spreadsheet. It doesn't auto refresh, it only manual refreshes. So that's been fixed. I'll go into that further uh, later down the line. But I do also need to say uh, Evermex P9593. Also, thank you for bringing this up. It's something that I should have done a while ago. I've never really done it because I don't think it's useful, but other users of the spreadsheet will find it useful. So I figured be friendly, put it in for those people that don't or do want it. Sorry. So without further ado, I'll move my ugly mug out your way. <laughs> um, so the feature that I've added is the free fail stack. So as you can see, if your fail stacks are free, you make a shit ton of money. You're not going to get a free 240 stack very often. So we'll leave that one as cost. Uh, now, the reason that I don't agree with this is because it's a false positive, in my opinion. So it looks like you earn so much more money, but you don't. Now, this is why you don't. And maybe it's just me being a bit pessimistic. But basically, seeing that you make that money, like 4.9 million there, rather than losing 6.3, like the value of that stack is still 11 million, even if you get it for free. So you got 6 million out of what could have been worth 11 million, if that makes sense. So you're losing money. I say 6 million, you get 4.9 million. So you lose the 6.3 of value that you could have got out of it, if that makes sense. Uh, basically, that's why I don't like it, but I can see why people would want to use it. So it's there. Now, the main feature of this is the auto refresh has not been working. I've made a rudimentary fix for now just so that it's working. I'll refine it later down the line. I just want to make it because basically I know Zent's using one so that he can have like the full API on one spreadsheet, which would be really useful for other people to use. Uh, but my fix only works for my use case. It doesn't work for everyone. So I need to refine to make a way for it to work. I'll show you what it is and how it works. So. Basically, it now refreshes every 15 minutes. Um, I don't see any point of doing it any sooner because there's a timeout, so you don't want to be using it like every minute because it's just going to basically make it so that you've got issues with the spreadsheet. It'll stop it from working. Um, you might even get timed out from the API. It can happen. So just leave it 15 minutes. Put it to 30 minutes, to be fair. Probably is all you need. It doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. But anyway, so what I've done is made a very rudimentary... Um, copies the value from R1, to puts it to R2, clears R1, gets R2, puts it to R1, clears R2. So it can keep doing that in a loop. Now, arguably, I could have just cleared R1 and then put it back in, but I wanted to make sure that it clears the spreadsheet and then remix the spreadsheet. So I'll run it first. So basically, it's, it's running it in the triggers here. But uh, so if I run it now, I'll show you how it works. So as you can see, everything's gone to NA. Uh, these have gone blank, so bear with me whilst it catches up. I think it may have been running when I just called it to run. Um, so yeah, it's called, put this one blank, it's got it here. So it's just, yeah, I think it just run and then I told it to run again. So that's gone blank and it's now in here. It just takes a moment for it to repopulate. So it basically takes it out, puts it in, takes it out, puts it in. So clears everything off to zero, puts the API there, refreshes this. And then if you go back here, it's all still says an A. So if it does say an A, it's not broken. It's just doing its refresh. Just give it a few seconds. So it should populate now, populates the first half, then it populates the second half. Because basically it does the values and then it does the calculations off the values for the refresh. So as you can see, I don't think anything really changed, but that's because I've been refreshing this to do these videos every single time. So it's pretty accurate at this moment in time to the API. So that's everything. Uh, as I said, it's a major fix. It's actually auto refreshing now. Um, I will refine it. I'll help Zent with getting his to work properly because I think I know a way I can basically, you can copy the row of R into the row of, uh, let's say S, and then back again, uh, say row, column. But I, it's getting it so it copies all the formulas, which might be a difficult thing, um, just because they are formula. So 
it, it, it's something that needs refining, but it's working. So if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and also I will see you next time. Not sure what that video is going to be. It's always a mystery to me as much as it's a mystery to you guys. So look forward to that. And thank you for watching. Ciao for now.